Are y'all ready for a thrift haul? I'm ready for a thrift haul. Yesterday, I went to two Goodwills and got 33 items for $237. I spent $7.18 on average, which is the norm at that store. I have some of the stuff already hanging up and ready to go because somebody little is very bad and has interrupted me four times, four times. So we're gonna try this again. See what happens. This is a Sundance shirt, size small. It is silk. It is a silk blend with cotton. Look how pretty that is. Isn't that beautiful? So dangerous picking up white, I know. But this shirt did have a stain on it. I've already sprayed it with OxyClean. It's right there. Throw it in my dirty clothes basket right there. And I paid $4.99 for that one, which is pretty good. Two pairs of Clara Sun Woo pants. Both of them are size large, found next to each other. Size large. They are dirty also. <laughs> this pair is dirty and this pair is dirty. So both of those will go into the wash probably today. I need, I have enough stuff over there to go ahead and wash. And this pair, I'm gonna show you all this. Kind of looks like paint, but I was able to scrape it off. So I think it'll come out just fine. Definitely am cautious when I see spots like that. And then there is two pieces of Athleta. This is a sleeveless top, extra large, which is great. I normally would not pick up something like this, but I looked at the tag and it said spring 22 SP22, which means it's a newer style. And I went ahead and Googled that style code right there at the top. It says S slash, and then it has numbers. You put Athleta in, put those numbers in, tell you the exact style, and then you can look up your comps. Great sell through on this. And it hits that $30 mark, which is great. Now, the pants, I did not look up. They are from summer of 22, so they are also a new style. Athleta, size 12, which is a great size, like a jogger type pant. These are great. Kind of want to keep them. They look super comfy. <laughs> and let's see, where's the price? $5.99 on those. It was $4.99 on the shirt, $5.99 here. These are probably good for $30 or $40 also. So being that they're a new style, newer styles definitely go for more. There are some old athletic styles too, though, that can go for good prices also. It just depends on what they are. Okay. Those are all the things I had prepared. This brand I know because of the Dillard's outlet. I paid $4.99 for it. Look how pretty this is. Now, the comps on these are all over the place, but the highly embroidered ones that look very Johnny Wuzzy do do well. Um, like I said, comps are all over the place, but I have sold this shirt before for the $40 to $50 range, so. And there definitely were some that were in the $40 to $50 range. I'm thinking more $30 to $40. I don't think I'm going to get that much for it. Not a huge well-known brand. So it's got a little bit against it. So I'll probably price down a little bit. I don't know. When I do my um, research, full research, so when I go to list it, I will check that. I am going to hang this stuff up as I go. It's Kyla S-E-O. C-O. And these things are handmade, which is really cool. So probably will put that in my title just to attract more people. They're just so pretty. I really love that shirt. Next is some um, shorts. What kind of shorts we got here? These are Lululemon. Why do I know? Because of that button. I always look at the buttons. When you're going through your racks, I go through racks really, really fast. I try to get in and out and still send three, three hours at the Goodwill. This one's a big one. But I'm always looking for those buttons, those shiny, plain buttons like that. A lot of times that's Lululemon. These were, and of course went to find the tag. There was no tag, but then I looked for this. That's where it is on the men's shorts. And you'll see I have another pair of these. $4.99, great price. I wonder what size these are. It's usually in the pocket. It's not always in the pocket, but. Usually, if you can turn the pocket inside out, you can usually find your size and your style code. Let's see. It's not there. It's not there. 
you gotta like keep turning pockets inside out. They have pockets within inside of pockets. So you have to go into the pocket. There's another pocket inside the pocket. <laughs> it's a thing with, is that a pocket? That is not a pocket. Uh-oh, I don't have a size. There's a little zipper pocket right here. I'm going go in that one. Look in there. No, no size. Oh well. When I go to take pictures of these, I will look at it more thoroughly. Usually not in the back pocket, so I don't think they'll be in there. If not, if I can't find the, there it is. I was gonna say, if I can't find it, I'll use measurements. There it is, it's in the back pocket. So it's a size 34, which is a great size. I saw a lot of 34s this day. So somebody probably gave their whole wardrobe up. I saw four pairs of Peter Millar, four, not, not four, four. Four pairs of Peter Lamar shorts too, that were size 34 but I skipped those. Somebody came right behind me and picked them up. He was also a reseller. I could tell by the stuff he was picking up, but I don't feel like Peter Millar, they were used. I'm really gonna go for that $30 price point that I'm looking for. They're more like 25, so I left those. They would've been pants, I'd have picked them up. Anyway, right here, right there. I hope y'all can see that. There is an M. Where is it at? I can't see that. I'm old. There it is. M7AWQS. Right there. I will Google that. It's actually the, the letter usually after the M. M means mint. On Lulu. What do I know? I think I, you got to keep the M in there. I don't know. Does it really matter that much? I don't think it does. $4.99. Did I already say that? Who knows? <laughs> anyway. We'll Google that style code. We will find those shorts exactly what they are, which makes them super easy to list. I just use the Lulu Fanatics information, and it usually is like the first thing that comes up anyway. So it's usually super fast to find. Another pair of Lululemon pants for $5.99. This is how I find all my Lululemon. I never find, I hardly ever, not ever, but hardly ever find Lululemon if it has these tags, if it has the tearaway tag in it, because people, Identify it easier that way. It was the button. That button, y'all. That button. And there's your little Lululemon right there. I bet these are size 34 too. Let's see. Let's see. <laughs> I didn't look at it in the store. I don't care if it doesn't have a style code. These are probably the ABC pants. They look like the ABC pants. Anti B crushing pants, which always sell for me very quickly. I love picking these up. I am not seeing a style number. They smell nice and clean. They've been washed recently. That's nice. Okay, there it is finally. Back pocket again, 34. There you go. And it has little letters and numbers around it, which means it's a newer pair, which is great. Which means it'll probably sell quickly. We love that. Love finding Lululemon. I have two pairs of Lululemon pants too from the women's section at the other store. I do find a lot of Lululemon at these stores because there's a Lululemon store. In between these two stores so it's an area that has a little bit of money some cool shorts i don't expect to get a ton for these it's hard for me not to pick up cool maybe this are good they are a good size size 40 which is great but it's shorts at the end of the day so it might be a little harder to get to that 40 dollar or 30 dollar range that i want for shorts but we'll see you never know, they might be a newer style or something that's more popular. How much did I pay for these? $4.99. So that's great. Love that. I only get to $7 when everything is $4.99, $5.99. This is how. Because <laughs> I buy new tag stuff too. These I looked up because I am not a Nike person. These were $14.99. There's why my average goes up. I could have left these behind, but I did look them up. They are $75 a pair of shorts, new with tags. And it had the name, the it's Nike Golf Hybrid Shorts. So the only thing that's bad about them is that they do have LSU on the back of them. If they were my husband's size, I would just give them to him. They are a size 40 though, so that's not gonna work. That must be the same shorts from that guy. Love that, love that. Size 40 is great. So hopefully those do okay. Like I said, with the LSU on the back, Maybe that'll add value. I don't know. It's a popular enough team, right? <laughs> I do shop in LSU country. Probably just right down the road. There I am giving away all my secrets. 
Here's a half off shirt. This is cool. This is different. I looked it up because it's Lala Boo. It's a size large. It's nice and thick. It is like a baby carrier shirt. Like you throw your baby in here. You see that? I have sold quite a few things that you throw a baby in. <laughs> These clothes that you can use for carrying a baby in actually do very well on the resale market. Yellow was the half off price. It's the only yellow thing I found all day. $4.99, so I paid $2.50 for this. Looked at the comps, and it sells for the $30 range. I'm very happy about that. Also, there's a logo down here. I always say, if there's a logo on the clothing, you should probably look it up. I mean, we know the cool logo and stuff like that, but if you're not familiar with the brand and you see logo, you should say, hmm, that might be worth something. At least that's what I do. And it's a size large, which is great. And then the last one is one of my favorite brands to sell. I love this brand. I'm really happy about finding it in a set because the sets do do better. Mazook. Don't find it very often. But when I do, it usually sells very quickly. Mazook is real big on their, um, their twin sets and this knit. This color is so bright, but it is a long length, which is nice. And like I said, usually with the sets, they do better. And they're both medium. Thank goodness. <laughs> I hate when I find a set and the, the um, sizes are different. Because then you have to split them up. Which obviously the little um, shirt from underneath is not going to do all that great by itself. So it's always nice when you can sell the set together. And you definitely do get more for the sets. I love Mazook. It can sit but usually it sells pretty fast for me so very happy about mazook i'm thinking 50 to 60 dollars maybe more for this one i'm not really sure because it's been a, it's been a minute since i found this up so could be wrong on that one here's one that comps are all over the place on this one but i went ahead and picked it up for 5.99 did i tell y'all how much the mazook was for the two pieces it was 4.99 for the two pieces <laughs> this is so cute. I'm actually thinking about keeping it. I think this is great. I mean, we do go hiking. Not too terribly much, but we do hiking enough every year that it would be nice to keep it. Although I have a ton of bags already. But I love this. This is so cute. It's Kavu. Kavu? Kavu. Kavu always sells quickly for me. This one's in good condition. It does have a little bit of wash wear on it, but... I don't think it's so much that it will um, deter people from buying it. This rope style bag does pretty well. This is one of the bigger bags. So it does do pretty well. Um, comps were all over the place on this one too. But if I had to guess, it's because of damage. The lower ones were probably damaged because this is a hiking bag. So you're going to find ones with damage on them, logically, because they're used for outdoors. So, there you go. <laughs> Let's just throw that over there. All right. But anyway, I did see enough of them that were in the 30 to $40 range to go ahead and pick that one up. So, this is a Patagonia vest. And I did very quick comps on this because I feel like it's going to do just fine anyway. It's a large. $9.99 was the price on it. And I didn't like go like really, really drill it down to the comps. But I feel like $30 or more easily on that. Just it, it looks brand new too, which is really nice. We love when stuff looks brand new, right? No stains or anything like that. And then, oh, let's see. I didn't look up comps on this either, but I am confident enough in Lauren Ralph Lauren sports coats that I'm not worried about. This is actually not Lauren Ralph Lauren. This is just plain old Ralph Lauren. This is a, I know it is a Lauren Ralph Lauren. Did I pick up two sports coats yesterday? I must have. In that other bag, there must be one. $4.99. That's really good. 
Yep, this one's a Lauren Ralph Lauren one. So, third, forty to fifty dollars, I think, is what these go for. What size is this one? Size thirty-eight R. In case you don't know, the size tag is inside of this pocket. So, if you don't have the size, I wouldn't buy it, honestly, because it's really hard to determine what size a sport coat is. It's not hard, but it'd be too much of a pain for me to do it. I wouldn't bother with it, honestly, but. Anyway, this one has wool. I think it's a wool mix. Did pick up two of these yesterday. Hmm. It is a, it doesn't say. That's weird. Huh. Maybe it's on another tag? Strange. I mean, it is wool. I can feel that it's wool, but it's kind of strange that it's not on here. It just says Macy's Men's Store. Weird. Okay. These things happen, you know. I should do fine then. You know, if you find some of the more outrageous colors and stuff, those do really well. That's more common, so I'm not going to get too much. This one is the best. I oh, loved finding this. So happy about this. It's a Scotty vest. I need a big hanger for this one. It's heavy. This is a Scotty vest. Size extra, extra large. New it tags. I mean... It's got everything going for it. I couldn't believe it when I found it. And they only wanted $4.99 for it. That's insane. If you know what Scotty Vest is, that is insane. I'm so happy about this. Fleece 8.0 jacket. I was able to look it up to see exactly what it was. Which is so cool. There was only one sold. Zero available. One sold in the last three months for $75 and zero available. Now, when I get on my computer, it's probably gonna be different. <laughs> if y'all ever have that problem, like what you see when you're looking up stuff is totally different than when you, when you get home. I don't know why that is, but I'm hoping that's true. And there is none available. Cause then you can kind of make your own price up, especially at extra, extra large. So good. Maybe I'll get a hundred dollars for that one. That would be really cool, right? Who knows? All right, next up. I have to bring my bags in on this one. I hate when I do that. This is the second store. And this is a Jay McLaughlin. And I just happened to look in the sweaters. It's a size large Jay McLaughlin sweater. I, $4.99. Let's see. Did it not have the, it does have material tags. It's definitely wool. Cotton and wool blend. Very nice. I don't normally, I know I'm a, an outlier on this one. I put my sweaters aside. I have a little table over there when I find good, nice sweaters that I know will do really well. I will put them over there and I will list them in September. And by the time September comes, I will have a stack like this and I just kind of collect them over time. I might go ahead and list this one though, because I feel like Jayla McLaughlin sweater, no brainer, gonna sell no matter what. I mean, this is just one of those classic pieces that in, the, in that brand is very popular. I love selling Jay McLaughlin. I love finding Jay McLaughlin. It makes me so happy when I find it because it sells so fast and for such good profit. Even like the plainest of plain small items will sell quickly with Jay McLaughlin. So I'm always very happy. Love, 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 love. I get so excited when I find that brand. It's one of my favorites. Soft surroundings, size 1X, which is definitely what convinced me to pick it up. Cute, very, very cute little short sleeve sweater. I would have kept this if it would have been my size. I love this sweater so much. Great for this time of the year. This is like the type of stuff I wear this time of the year. Love, love, love this sweater. I don't want to hang it up because I hate hanging sweaters up because they get all stretchy. So I do lay them out and then when I'm ready to list them, I'll hang them immediately onto the wall. I'll take the pictures and immediately take it off because I hate the stretchiness. $4.99. These prices are so good. So good. <laughs> I love these prices. Of course, I'm at $7 average. So you're going to see some higher stuff in here. It's usually the new tag stuff that's higher. They do price up their new tags, which is fine. I expect to pay more for new tags. This is Roller Rabbit, which I haven't seen in a while. 
I know Roller Rabbit because this one's six ninety nine because it's considered a dress. I don't think she charged me that because the lady was just throwing all the similar items together when she was checking me out at this store. I think she charged me for a short sleeve shirt on this one. Anyway, or long sleeve shirt rather, which would be four ninety nine. I don't really know honestly, but look how cute this is. Roller Rabbit can do really well. Um, I know it really well because it's at the Dillard's Clearance Center. So I have bought it 5 billion times there. I just felt like this was just so cute. If this would have been a plainer roller rabbit, I probably would have skipped it and wouldn't have bought it. But this one just has so many fun details and the print is really cute. Pretty sure it's a linen it's a size medium, but it's definitely oversized. It's, I mean, like an extra large could probably fit in this, but it's gotta be linen. It's, maybe it's cotton. It could be a cotton gauze. Definitely could be. Let's see. Oh, it is. It's a cotton gauze. <laughs> and it is. It's very gauzy, see-through type. So cute. I love this one so much. This is just, just it's precious. <laughs> I like it so excited over clothes. It's so silly. But I just love cute stuff. All right. You go there. Let me get that one listed today. She's so cute. I got some good jeans. And I don't really look through the jeans section. It's the jeans at these two stores, someone comes through and just wipes them out all the time. I don't find a lot of purses at these stores and I don't find a lot of jeans at these stores. So I think that there's somebody that concentrates in that area that probably lives nearby. You know, if I lived nearby, I would do the same thing. You know, I would just go to this to those stores and just look through like my thing. Uh, I, I, I can't, I don't have that luxury. <laughs> I can't do that. Anyway, three great pairs of jeans all next to each other. My strategy when I go to the jeans section, because I've been through the jeans section enough times in these two stores to where I don't want to spend a ton of time in the jeans section because I know it's picked through a good bit. So my strategy is to just look at the new tag and luckily, Oh, my hair is doing some crazy stuff here. Luckily, the people that put the stuff out, I've actually heard them training oh. others before. She's making funny noises. She's such a silly little dog. She rolls around on the floor and makes that little weird noise. Anyway, she's distracting me. I've heard them doing their training and they literally, what they tell them to do is you move everything to one side and you put all the new color out in one one area and it's so that their colors all kind of stay together of course people are going to move them around a little bit but for the most part their colors stay together so it's easier for them to pull the old 50 percent off color at the end of the week they pull them i don't know what they do with them we don't have bins so i have no idea what they're doing with them if i sell them off in bulk i had to guess anyway so went to the white section because it was the new color and hit pay dirt so this is pack sun now, PacSun, not a great brand if you're trying to hit the 30 or more mark like I am. It, you know, PacSun's kind of all over the place. It's popular enough to where people are looking for it out there. And some items can sell very quickly for a good price and some items sit for a long time. These pants though, these low rise carpenter pants, size 23, so it's a small size, I don't like that size. But I have sold these carpenter pants before and they sold for a great price. <laughs> so I was very happy to find them. New with tags. Um, looks like they went on sale for $36. The original price, you can almost see it, $55. I wish I could look it up right now to see how much they sold for um, when I had them before. I don't remember now, but I do remember that I was shocked at how well they sold, how quick they sold, how popular they were. So. I want to say they were a high-rise carpenter, though. I don't know if that'll take away from the value too, too much. Anyway, these carpenter pants from PacSun do very well. I wish I had the research in front of me. I actually forgot I even had these, so that's why I can't tell you anything about them now. <laughs> $6.99. And, of course, anytime you find new with tag stuff, the tags add some value to the item. And for some reason, I found a lot of new with tags at these stores. Got a lot of people with money that shop and get rid of stuff. And then I have another pair of the same exact pants. These are the ones I sold before. 90s Boyfriend Carpenter. But it was in that color. Okay. 
that just brought that back to me. Same thing, size 23, so tiny size, but that's okay. They'll probably sell on Poshmark if I had to guess, you know. They must be really long, but no tags. Same spiel as before, adds value, and this was a popular style. I think it was like eight or nine months ago that I sold. Hopefully the carpenters are still popular enough. Probably should have looked it up. I did not. <laughs> Sometimes I fly by the seat of my pants. No, I shouldn't, but I do. Okay. Here we are. $6.99 for those. And then these. I didn't. Okay, I tried to look these up, but I couldn't. It was very hard because, but I know something about this. They are the Levi's Maiden Crafter, first of all, which is great. They are a collab with Off White, which is really great. Off White is an expensive designer ish, -ish type brand. They aren't just a size small, just tiny, tiny, tiny. But I think these will do just fine. Now, I did try to look them up. And I was at the end of my day. And I looked up Levi's <laughs> Off-White. And of course, all the listings were Off-White. Like, not the brand Off-White. The color Off-White <laughs> came up. So, I was like, you know what? I'm just going to take a chance and sell these things. I, I think they're going to do great. They have the... The button fly, they're the Maiden Crafted, which is more expensive if you don't know. They were bought from Buffalo Exchange for 65, which did give me a little bit of confidence that you know I could probably get around that 60 to 50 dollar mark, being that somebody was willing to pay for it at one time used for 65. I don't know, we'll see. Like I said, it was hard for me to look up. I'm trying to get those listed today, too. I think this will be great though. You never know. I might get surprised. You know, the second store, I'm bad about not looking stuff up so well. Because I'm tired by then. Probably should stop doing that. I don't know if I looked up any of this stuff. Which is not good. Not good. Not good. Probably should not be doing that. But I went back and forth on this one. Ended up picking it up because of the size. I actually went to put it back and then saw the size and kept it. It is Diane Avon Aperschenberg, size 12. Which I love. The style is not the best style in the world, but it is a nice spring summer type dress. So $6.99 for that one. And like I said, I mean it's, it's the brand on that one. I do pick up Diane von Burstenberg almost always because it's just one of those brands I grew up with being a designer that it's hard for me to pass up. I finally stopped picking up She's, she's down there shaking the camera. If y'all can see that, I'm sorry. She's a bad little puppy. I finally stopped picking up Betsy Johnson because Betsy Johnson was kind of the same thing for me. You know, one of those really cool brands as a child that I just I can't help myself. This is a great one too. Size 10, Syncocept, which I have never found in the used market. I have found it plenty on the new market at liquidation stores, but never on the used market, which so I'm really happy about finding that one too. Hopefully it's a newer style too. I'm not big on the color, but that doesn't mean other people aren't big on the color, right? It is a nice coral orange color and it's probably $6.99 also. What do we got? $6.99. It's these dresses that get, make my average go up at $6.99, but I do love selling dresses, so it is what it is. I finally found a Diane Von Furstenberg wrap dress. I mean, it's not an old one. It's not like an 80s one that's going to, you know, I could have, I've never looked it up. I need to look it up and find out if a Diane Von Furstenberg 80s wrap dress does really well because that would make sense to me, but that doesn't mean that's what happens. So there's no little thingies to hold this. Okay. Anyway, it's Diane von Furstenberg. It's 100% silk. I love her silk dresses. They are so um, it's soft, but it's like a slinky knit too. It's like a jersey knit, but it's silk, which is neat. You know, you don't really usually see silk like that, but it's a size four, unfortunately, because honestly, if it was my size, I would be trying it on and I would probably keep it because this is just one of those items I've always wanted. That's what she's famous for. That's... That's what she got famous for in the first place. And it's just one of these iconic 
things that I've always wanted. So maybe one day, maybe one day I will find my own Dion von Furstenberg um, wrap dress. I actually listened to a, um, I'm not like a super fan of hers, but it kind of sounds like I do. I am, I have a stand. <laughs> I listened to an interview of hers. She's a very interesting woman. So if you ever get an opportunity to read up on her history, it's very, very interesting woman. This is a Lulu's dress, which y'all know, if you watch my channel enough, I am anti-Lulu's. Not so much anti-Lulu's, but I see a lot of Lulu's every time I go out and I am having trouble figuring out how to hang this up because it's also a wrap. What in the world? Where is the straps? There they are. Okay. There we go. I bought this though. So Lulu's usually sells for like 25 bucks for me um, used. So I usually skip on it. And when I'm at this store, at the bins, maybe if it's a great style, but Lulu's is very, very saturated. So I, I'm just picking it up less and less and less. Probably should have checked this dress to see the sell through on it. But it convinced me to pick it up because it was new with tags. $6.99, size small, and it's a wrap, and it's a, and it's a maxi, and it's a floral, and it's tropical, so it had a lot going for it. That's why I picked it up. I don't see a lot of maxi dresses. Maybe there's somebody going through and picking all the maxi dresses up, too. Because maxi dresses are easy to find. I mean, you can just literally go along the aisle and just, like, pull them out, probably. I thought about doing that before. But there's a lot of short dresses that do well, too, so I know maxi's you know, higher sell through and all that stuff. But, okay, here's one I never, ever heard of, ever. But I looked it up because it looked fancy. It is Murray's Toggery Shop. And it has the name of the pants underneath it, Nantucket Reds Collection. What size are they? They definitely did have a size. 33 by 30. And these were $5.99. It's just a pair of men's pants. I go through the men's pants very quickly. And I'm really just looking for like hiking pants normally. Like I'm looking for the cools and I'm looking for the Patagonias and stuff like that. So I'll go through the pants very, very quickly. It's almost all dockers and, you know, work pants for, for men. But anything that sticks out to me that looks a little different, I will. And I'm, I'm like feeling the fabric as I go too. These stuck out to me because they were just different than every other pair of pants that were in there. And it was the only pair of pants I found. Looked them up. Great comps. Great sell through. I don't remember. Maybe 40? 30 at the least, of course. But maybe 40 or 50. I don't remember. Sorry. But I definitely did look it up because it was not a brand I was familiar with. So I did look up some stuff. This is two pairs of Lululemon pants. How did I find these? I don't remember actually how uh, I figured out that they were Lululemon other than, I mean, obviously they probably have the Lululemon thing on them. They, these actually don't. How in the world did I figure? Oh, I saw this. So this is the Lululemon. Not that other pants don't have the same little thing, but when I do see this, I do further investigate to see. There's my dog making weird noises again. And then there's your Lululemon right there. These were $5.99. Of course, they were skipped by most people because it's kind of hard to figure out that they're Lululemon, honestly. I don't see a size. That might be why they were skipped, too. That's understandable. I mean, some people don't want to mess with stuff that doesn't have sizing on it. And I'm looking in the pocket, and I didn't see a size. They are a good size. I can tell that they're bigger, which is great. Maybe when I further investigate... Yeah, they're a good size. These are at least a large, if not more than that. So, love those. How much should I pay for those? Pay $5.99 for those. And then another pair of Lululemon. These are just plain old Wonder Unders that also do not have anything on them. And the first thing I, I do, well, what I do, if there's no tag, as I'm looking through the extra size pants, I go straight to the back leg. And it's always there too. And these were $5.99. So in the men's, I look for that button. 
in the women's. I go to the back of the lake. I think I just got lucky with those figuring out that that's really the limit. <laughs> it's definitely because of the tie, because the tie kind of says it. There's the other Ralph Lauren. That's why I was so confused. I knew I had another Ralph Lauren in here. And this one is a Ralph Lauren. This is not a Lauren Ralph Lauren. This is just a plain Ralph Lauren sports coat. So it is Ralph, Ralph Lauren sports coat. I don't know the comps on this. It is, this is why I liked it, 38, 38S, which is short. Are you kidding me? Woman, we need you to quit. Go to sleep. It is a wool polyester silk blend. That was what sold me on that one. And it's a nice jacket. It's the two buttons. It's, it's a nice jacket. So I don't see that having a problem selling. Hopefully for 40 to $50. I'm not sure. Oh my gosh, what is wrong with this dog? What are you doing? <sighs> I'm glad I'm almost done with you. All right, we're almost done with the video, so. Chill out, woman. I got one shirt left, and how much did I pay for the jacket? $4.99. What a really great price on those. I wish I'd lived closer to those Goodwills because I would just go every day and pick items, like cheaper items, because there is a lot of cheap items there, but there's some stuff that you pay up for, and because I only go once a week, I feel like I pick up a lot of the higher price stuff because of that, unfortunately. This was $4.99, it's a medium, it's Eileen Fisher. It's just a cute little sweater. Wish it was my size, definitely would keep. <laughs> Love me and Eileen Fisher. Y'all know this, what kind of fabrics we got going on here? It feels nice, it's tinsel. Let's go on the English side. It's a tinsel silk blend. So that's why it feels so nice. Great condition, looks like it's new. So that should do very fine. And then last is two pairs of shoes that need work. And y'all know how I feel about shoes that need work. Not very well. <laughs> Don't like working on shoes, but here we are. I cannot pass this brand up. It's Trask. Um, Trask shoes don't do as well as they used to. Sells for in the $40 range or so. Um, if I can find the actual name of these, I might bit more. They do have the Vibram sole on them, which is nice. Vibram sole. Did he say HS Trask? I was trying to I was trying to remember that a while back. But anyway, you saw me sell a Trask messenger bag a while back. Was it for 60? Maybe it was for 80. I don't remember. But I'm not passing up Trask shoes. These are so nice. $14.99 is what I sold. They are a size 12, which is a great size. It's a pretty common size. And they're, they're in pretty good condition. I need to do a little bit of work on them, but not a tremendous amount of work. These are in terrible condition. And Trask shoes can sell pretty quickly too, so. I'll have to look up the exact what they are. These need a lot of work, but it was hard for me to pass them up. This is so much work. What am I doing? Little one. She's a mess today. These are Danner boots. Danner boots. Danner boots. Danner boots are a bolo. You go look at the comps for used Danner boots. There are some that can sell for 100, 200, 300. Depends on the style you have. I did not look up my style. Shame on me. I think these are going to go for like 40 or 50. I don't think these are like the expensive ones. I could be wrong on that. I will look it up further. You, something you should know. Your size is here. Can you see that? There's like engraved lettering on the leather here. Size is a size 10 on mine. And then right behind it, it says 69110, maybe four zero, one zero, maybe. I don't know. It's hard to tell. <laughs> anyway, I will look up that stuff and find out what the exact style is for these because I definitely think that matters. If you go look at comps for Daner boots, if you're just putting black Daner boots, leather or something in, you're not gonna get as much for them. So I'm gonna find out the exact style. Gonna clean them up like a lot. I need like saddle soap or something for these. These are rough. 
and I probably won't list them for two or three weeks because I'm gonna gonna have to do a lot of work with them. They do have the Vibram sole, and they do have a cushion inside. They are made in the USA, which maybe they all are. Gore-Tex, Danner boots. Danner, not gonna pass up Danner. I know I probably paid a, a good amount for these. Well, they are rough. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to get some saddle soap for these. They're rough, truly, truly rough, but they are still in good enough condition to sell. They're not in such rough shape that they're not usable anymore. These were $11.99. So I kind of left those behind, honestly, but sometimes I, they were, that was the first thing I picked up. So okay. I had no idea how good my day was going to be. And honestly, with 16 items at that store, I'm glad I did pick them up because that's not a lot. And I'm going to run out of stuff to list very quickly. Very quickly. I might have to go shopping on Tuesday next week instead of Wednesday. All right. That is it. Thank you for coming to my thrift haul. I hope you enjoyed it. If you made it all the way here, congratulations. 40 minutes in. It's a long time. I am worn out. I'm going to go get something to drink. I'm going to spank this puppy because she's so bad. Not really. She doesn't even know what a spanking is. She's spoiled rotten. And that's it. Goodbye.